Ian Lavender, a British actor best known for his iconic role as Private Pike in the classic sitcom Dad's Army, led a remarkable life and career. Sadly, he passed away February 2, 2024, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and memorable performances. In this video, we'll explore his life and career, celebrating his contributions to British entertainment. We'll also take a look at the castmates from Dad's Army who passed away before him. Join Facts First UK as we present Ian Lavender Dead at 77, He Was the Last Surviving Star. Early Life and Career Highlights Ian Lavender is a British actor best known for his role as Private Pike in Dad's Army. He was born on February 16, 1946 in Birmingham. He was born to a working-class family in Birmingham during the aftermath of World War II. He grew up in the West Midlands and developed an early interest in acting and the arts. He attended Bourneville Technical College, where he pursued his passion for drama and honed his acting skills. His breakthrough came in 1968, when he was cast as Frank Pike, a naive and bumbling young member of the Home Guard in the iconic British sitcom Dad's Army. The show was set during World War II and depicted the humorous misadventures of a group of volunteer soldiers tasked with defending their small coastal town from invasion. Lavender's portrayal of Private Pike earned him widespread recognition and endeared him to audiences across the UK. Despite being relatively young at the time, Lavender held his own among a cast of seasoned comedy veterans, including Arthur Lowe, John the Measurer, and Clive Dunn. His character's catchphrase, Don't Panic, Captain Mainwaring, became particularly popular and is still associated with the show today. Dad's Army enjoyed immense success throughout its run from 1968 to 77 and remains a beloved classic in British television history. Beyond Dad's Army, Lavender's career extended to various other television appearances, including roles in popular series like EastEnders and Casualty. His versatility as an actor allowed him to transition between comedic and dramatic roles with ease, showcasing his range and talent. He also ventured into the realm of theater, participating in stage productions that showcased his acting prowess. Castmates He Survived Dad's Army featured a talented ensemble cast. Sadly, we've now lost them all over the years. Arthur Lowe, who played the role of Captain Mainwaring, passed away April 15, 1982, at age 66. In the final years of his life, Lowe continued to work in the entertainment industry with notable roles in television and theater. Unfortunately, his health began to decline due to a series of strokes, which ultimately contributed to his untimely death. Lowe remains fondly remembered for his iconic portrayal of Captain Mainwaring, and his legacy as an accomplished actor endures in the hearts of fans and colleagues. John the Measurer, who portrayed the character of Sergeant Wilson, passed away November 15, 1983, at age 71. In his later years, he continued to work in the entertainment industry, appearing in various television shows and films. Tragically, Le Measurer's health began to deteriorate as he battled Parkinson's disease, which contributed to his passing. Despite his health challenges, he remained a beloved figure in British entertainment, known for his wit and charm both on and off screen. Clive Dunn, famous for his role as Lance Corporal Jones in Dad's Army, passed away on November 6, 2012, at age 92. In the final years of his life, he enjoyed a quiet retirement, having largely retired from acting. He had moved to Portugal, where he spent his later years. Clive Dunn's death was attributed to complications from surgery following a fall, and it marked the end of an era for fans of the show. His portrayal of the lovable but forgetful Lance Corporal Jones remains a cherished part of British television history. John Laurie, known for his role as Private Fraser, lived until the age of 83, before passing away June 23, 1980. In his later years, Laurie continued to work in entertainment, appearing in various television shows and films. He remained active, showcasing his talent. Sadly, his health declined in his final years, and he succumbed to bronchopneumonia, which marked the end of his prolific career. His portrayal of the dour and pessimistic Private Fraser is remembered as an integral part of the show's success. James Beck, who played Private Joe Walker, passed away at a tragically young age. 
He died August 6, 1973, at age 44. In the years leading up to his untimely death, he had continued to work in entertainment, including film and television roles. But his life was cut short due to complications arising from acute pancreatitis. James Beck's death was a great loss to his fans and colleagues, and his character, Private Walker, remains a beloved part of the show's history. Arnold Ridley, known for his role as Private Charles Godfrey, lived a long life and passed away March 12, 1984, at the age of 88. In his later years, he enjoyed a quieter life, having largely retired from acting after the conclusion of the show. He authored several successful plays, including The Ghost Train. Arnold Ridley's death was attributed to natural causes, and he passed away peacefully. Excuse me. Recent Years and Death Ian Lavender, renowned for playing Private Pike, passed away February 2, 2024, at age 77. In recent years, Lavender had been active both on and off screen, showcasing his versatility across various mediums. He joined the cast of EastEnders in 2001 as Derek Harkinson and returned briefly in 2016. Lavender's stage presence was notable, with performances alongside Dustin Hoffman in The Merchant of Venice in the early 70s, a role in the West End theater production of Sister Act in 2009, and as the narrator in a touring production of The Rocky Horror Picture Show. In 2013, he led a production of the Gilbert and Sullivan opera The Mikado and made his Edinburgh Fringe debut in a stage adaptation of The Shawshank Redemption. Beyond acting, he faced health challenges, including a battle with bladder cancer in 1993 and surviving a heart attack in 2004. He also contracted sepsis in 2017 during filming for the Channel 5 series A Celebrity Taste of Italy. Lavender's contributions to entertainment extended to various projects, including touring with The Rocky Horror Show, participating in Celebrity Mastermind, and making appearances in films and documentaries. He also was a part of the mental health radio monologue series Talking Taboos in 2019. Tributes to Lavender have highlighted his significant impact on British comedy and culture. Samuel West described him as funny and friendly and kind, while Robin Asquith reflected on the privilege of sharing hundreds of performances with him. Jeffrey Holland, who understudied Lavender in the Dad's Army stage show, noted the uniqueness of Lavender's portrayal of Private Pike, emphasizing that there was only one Private Pike. The Dad's Army radio show X account and fans expressed their sadness and admiration, acknowledging Lavender's lasting legacy and the joy he brought to millions. His death marks the end of an era as the last surviving member of the Dad's Army main cast, leaving behind a legacy that will last for many, many years. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite Dad's Army character? Let us know in the comments section below.